Well, okay, let's uh, let's work a couple more lottery examples. Uh, only this time we're gonna solve for the rate uh, instead of the present value, the future value. Again, these annuity problems are ones that we've uh, already worked in chapter five. These are what the calculator is designed to solve. Uh, so don't be intimidated just because of the new language. Uh, we can solve for the rate using the calculator just the same as we've done anything else. Uh, the only things that we need to be careful of are our cash inflows and outflows and making sure that we are correctly uh, identifying the compounding period. Uh, and so in this problem, it's specifically telling us the compounding period because we're going to compare and contrast. Uh, but in problems where it doesn't, that's, uh, that's what we really need to make sure we're looking for. Okay, so uh, the problem says we win the lottery. Uh, it's worth $64 million. Again, that's the billboard amount. Um, but we can either take the after-tax cash payment, that's the lump sum, of $48.3 million, or we can receive an annuity over the next 30 years in the amount of $2.9 million per year. What is the discount rate the state of North Carolina is assuming? Uh, and uh, what if it's a monthly payment uh, in the annuity instead of an annual payment? How is that different? Mm -hmm. So uh, we'll start with the monthly payment. We are trying to solve for the rate, discount rate. Um, and uh, so that's our IY. Uh, to solve for the IY, we need the other four pieces. We need the payment. We need the number of payments. We need the present value and the future value. Okay. Now the payment here, we are going to do monthly compounding. So we need to convert our annual payment to a monthly payment. And we do that by dividing the annual payment by the number of months in a year. And that gives us a payment of $241,667 per month. Okay, so that's what the annuity would pay us, uh, which I don't know about you guys, but that, uh, that sounds pretty good to me. I would, uh, I'd be happy with that. Uh, our N is the number of payments. Now we get this annuity for 30 years, but again, we want months. So we convert months to years by multiplying by the number of months to get 360 months. Our present value here is the amount that we would have to give up in order to get the annuity, right? So this is a, it's a little bit tricky of an idea, but essentially the present value in a problem like this or, or the, the story in a problem like this is that I could either choose to take the, the lump sum or the annuity. But if I take the annuity, then I am effectively paying the lump sum because I'm not, get, I'm not taking that. So I'm saying I would be willing to trade you $48 million now for the right to get $241,000 a month for the next 360 months. So the present value here is a cash outflow of $48,300,000. Now we're not actually paying that, but we are effectively paying that. Now there's no future value here. Again, that's the default is zero, but we're not getting some uh, lump sum at the end. So there's no future value. Now we can compute our IY here um, and we will get uh, 0.366, right? This is our monthly rate. Remember the period of the output will agree with the compounding period of the inputs. And since we have been talking about rates, we know that if we multiply the monthly rate by 12, that will give us what's, that will give us what's called the APR, which is 4.393%. And we know that we can use our calculator to solve for the effective annual rate, which will give us an annual rate that accounts for the compounding that we're missing here. And we can use our calculator in the interest conversion environment to solve for the effective annual rate of 4.825. But in practice, this is the answer that I'm gonna be asking for, right? So unless I specifically ask for the EAR, I'm interested in the annual percentage rate, right? Uh, because this is the stated rate, this is the rate that the contract is gonna be listed at. Now, uh, if we uh, just think about it in terms of annual compounding, everything gets a little easier because we're given everything in the annual period already. So our payment is 2.9 million per year. Our in is already 30 years. Our present value is the same. We are trading off 
$48.3 million in order to receive the annuity. And so that means it's a cash outflow. We are effectively paying that amount to get the annuity later on. Uh, we can compute our IY here and get 4.312%. So again, we notice that we'd be earning a slightly higher rate at a uh, monthly compounding period, um, but uh, that uh, effectively what, when, and when we're talking about a lottery, the choice that you really need to make um, if you ever win the lottery, uh, of course, you can feel free to, you know, give me a call and ask my advice, but uh, uh, for a nominal fee, of course. But uh, uh, you, what you're effectively being asked to choose is whether you'd rather take the lump sum payment now or whether you take the annuity. But the choice for us now that we are uh, finance experts is really between whether you think you could take this lump sum payment and make a greater rate of return than 4.4825%, right? Because if we could do that, then we would earn more than the annuity over time, over the same length of time. So if I could invest $48 million in the stock market and earn 5%, I would do better to take the lump sum now and invest it on my own than I would to take the annuity payment because then I'd only be earning 4.4%. And this is why effectively the rule of thumb uh, or you'll hear people say rule of thumb is that you always take the cash payment. Uh, and it's because the rate that the state or the lottery commission is assuming is usually much lower than what you can earn in practice. Now, uh, you know, that's all well and good, but, uh, you know, um, there's something to be said for having a structured payment uh, and getting $200,000 a month uh, would still be plenty, uh, plenty hard to spend. Uh, and you would get it for 30 years and not have a chance of blowing it all on something dumb. So uh, that's your choice in the lotteries.